On Sunday, October 9, 2022, Sebastian Apram stepped out of his house to meet a friend who was visiting him. But the police met him. We are policemen. Don't struggle with us. You want to see my ID card? No, no, no. Oh, so All right. We are policemen. So you let me see. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. No, stop. But sir, don't let us force you. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let, let me let me put. I'm I'm doing something. Let me go and do my. You are doing something. Yes. Let right. me go and lock my. All right. We'll let you go and lock. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no problem. You don't struggle no, with us. No, I'm not You just put your hands inside. Oh, wait, wait. So let me go. Put and... your hand inside. Oh, wait, my brother. Let me go and. Sebastian is a member of a network that has undermined Ghana's computer school selection and placement system. His cover was blown after months of investigations by the fourth estate. Ah, what's my end? The computerized system of placing candidates into senior high schools was introduced in 2005 by the Ministry of Education to eliminate corruption in the placement process. Uh, our goal is to make sure that there's fairness here. And then those who are eligible for entry into our schools, especially the category A schools, getting on, on by merit. But the reason why reporting CSSPS was because many advances have become corrupt. It was a gold mine, gold season for admissions, and we wanted to end that system and bring in a much more meritorious system, much more equitable system that all citizens could trust. Seventeen years after its introduction. Corruption continues to erode the integrity of the system. In 2022, the fourth estate went undercover to ascertain whether indeed cash can influence the placement of candidates into top grade senior high schools. The Ministry of Education set up a resolution center at the Nat Hall complex to resolve complaints regarding the computerized school placement system. When the fourth estate visited the center, desperate parents were found negotiating and seeking help on the placement of their wards. In that building was a network of security men and cleaners who served as liaisons between the desperate parent and officials of the CSSPS. The fourth estate reporter who went undercover met Eric Agri, a cleaner. He indicated he could help change a placement from a Pam Senior High School to Mfantiman Senior High School at a fee. Yeah, mm -hmm. But in less than 24 hours, Eric increased the amount from 7,000 to 7,500 Ghana cities and would not reduce it. Eric and Rachel Aite, another member of the syndicate, could not do the placement from a Pam Senior High School to Mfantiman because the candidate had enrolled in the school. We presented another candidate who had been placed in Wesley Girls in Accra and wanted a higher grade school, Agri Memorial Zion Senior High School in Cape Coast. Eric demanded 8,500 Ghana cities for that slot. After demanding and receiving payments, 
The syndicates changed the placements of the candidate from Accra Girls Wesley to Agri Memorial Zion Senior High School in two days. Why are they? <laughs> He did this with support from another member of the syndicate introduced as Nathaniel. Our investigation later revealed that he is Simon Agri, the brother of Eric Agri. Yes, government has expanded facilities. Government has invested hugely in expanding facilities. But I'm not sure government has doubled intake in the BK schools. And that is where there's pressure. So it was expected that as there will be a more double track, um, there will be enhanced competition. And that is where if that competition is not managed well, then it becomes explosive. And, and then you have corruption tendencies creeping in. Uh, every parent wants the best for their children. And consequently, sometimes they panic even before the placement comes out. And, and then they fall prey to this unsuspecting individuals who will promise that they will be able to send their children to the schools of their choice. Mimi she will be say on to Nibu or still West Yano Pe. At on now, I feel I'm going to move on. 20k, Mimi. What do you have to catch now? 20k. Rachel seems to be the most trusted member of the syndicate, whom everyone recommends. It was believed that she never failed to place her students once the money she demanded was paid. Throughout her investigations, she was communicating with other members of the syndicate whom she claimed were staff at the Ministry of Education. She constantly received and forwarded messages of available schools and slots to Eric and other frontline team members at the placement center. In one of our meetings, Eric received a list of schools with slots for paid placement. But me, I'm telling you the truth. We will be delayed because, and then, I won't be an until you need to come Sir? Mm -hmm. I won't be so bad, I won't be so trained. So I need to go and point where I send me if you. So, for that one, it is, yeah, let me show you something. In some cases, when one was unable to pay, the slots were sold to others who could afford to pay higher. In one instance, we could not get into Wesley Girls High School because we could not afford it. At the placement center, almost every security or staff there knew about Eric's network and could easily direct you to him for paid placement. Okay. 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 
on the fire, you know, now for Baba Jackie said, in the crack. Okay. 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 It was for this reason that the second reporter from the fourth estate was directed to Eric. He wanted a candidate placed in Presbyterian Senior High Technical School to ask Bishop Porter Gales Takrade. Eric requested 7,000 Ghana cities. When we offered 5,000 cities, he declined and returned the money. He was not taking a Peswa less than 7,000 Ghana cities. Oh, you know something? Make a tell you the truth. If I take you, you tell me make a tell you the truth. You may pay the truth. So you, hold on. I don't know if you keep money. Because me, if I say make a tell you the truth, unless I sleep. Let me try to chop or I mean, give me a minute. Let me boil it off. We requested another placement to be done. The person was originally placed at Presbyterian Senior High School, Ibri, but we requested Wesley Girl Senior High School. Eric demanded 11,000 Ghana cities and took the money. Uh, Eric. Uh, Mm-hmm. one ten When the placement delayed and we pestered Eric, he finally led us to Rachel. Oh, me Hmm. And I want to send him evidence. Would you Mati? Me kwa koshe wa. Sa Mati, thank you. Me kwa koshe sisi. They eventually placed the candidates in Infantiman, a Category A school. With 8,500 cities, the CSSPS was undermined as placements was changed from Akara Wesley Girls to Agri Memorial Zion School, Cape Coast, and with 11,000 Ghana cities. 
placements was changed from Presbyterian Senior High Technical School, Ebri, to Fantaman Girls Senior High School. The most sought after Category A schools, such as Wesley Girls, at the time of our investigation, were going for as high as 20,000 Ghana cities. According to the Education Minister, the protocol list is what some unscrupulous people sell to those who won the awards placed in high category schools. I believe that uh, people take advantage of that. Uh, for example, headmasters protocols. We don't question where they, uh, they, those children are coming from. All that we do is approve it when they upload it on the app portal, protocol portal, and we upload. Uh, so the bottom line is that some people may want to uh, take advantage of uh, a system that is supposed to support an old boy, support, um, for the most part, church leaders and the headmaster and even employees uh, who work at the various schools so that their children can go to school there and uh, they want to take advantage of the system. Dr. George Atabwating says the protocol system used to be a 30% quota for communities within the catchment area of the school. We used to have a um, 30% uh, catchment area allocation. Uh, schools within a 16 kilometer radius or 10 mile radius from that school can always you know, opt for the 30%. That is, they don't want to go to school in any part of the country. That system has now been changed. The protocol system of placing candidates is now 10%, which is shared equally between the Ministry of Education and the schools. At, at the ministry level, you also have employees, um, uh, you have other people who are important stakeholders. We have sometimes people who have built schools uh, for uh, various communities that we know of who have contributed substantially to education and they come. And when they come, and, and you will not even believe that um, many times we end up supporting the old students of the various schools because um, the protocols that may go to a school like Presec where old boys have been so supportive may be uh, such that uh, the, the headmistress or headmaster cannot support and the ministry has to step in and work with the school to make sure that those important stakeholders also have opportunity to send their children to those schools and they support the schools a lot. This means people like Rachel who are able to play students either have links to the ministry or the schools. We could not get evidence of her links to the schools but we established she had links to the Ministry of Education. She was in charge of the canteen at the Ministry of Education until the canteen was shut down for refurbishment. Our sources at the Ministry of Education also say Rachel constantly called some of them asking for placement vacancies. Whatever her source of vacancy was, only two persons had the passwords for placement into Category A schools. In reality, we have two. One, Director General's Office, uh, GS, and then uh, Ministry of Education. Um, those are, last year, those are the two places. Though the Minister said GS, Director General's Office, and the Education Ministry had access to Category A schools, our checks revealed that full access to such protocol placements was limited to only two individuals, a memo that was circulated within the Ministry of Education on the 2022 placement shows that only the Director General of the GES, Professor Kwesi Opokua Mankwa, and the Education Minister, Dr. Yao Osei Edichum, had full access to the most sought after Category A schools. This means the placements made by Rachel into Infantiman Girls had to be approved by either the Minister or the GES Director General. During the 2022 placement process, Professor Opokwa Mankwa, who was unhappy about corruption in the placements, wrote to the National Intelligence Bureau and the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service to investigate allegations of corruption in the placement process. Part of his letter to the two state security agencies reads, In some instances, fingers have been pointed at top officials of the Ministry of Education Ghana Education Service, Computerized School Selection and Placement System, and the Free SHS Secretariat. 
Management of Ghana Education Service will be grateful if your office could launch a full-scale investigation into these allegations to establish their authenticity or otherwise. The fourth estate understands that the NIB initially agreed and started investigation, but exactly one month later, it wrote to the GES asking, you may redirect your request to the Director General of the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service for the necessary action. The GES had already petitioned the police CID the same day it wrote to the NIB. The fourth estate sources say these investigations were stopped by powers from above. Dr. Opoku Amankwa could not pursue this matter to the end. He was removed from office that same year. Last year we heard that the GES petitioned, the, I think the BNI or NIB and CID to investigate these matters. I don't know whether you've had any feedback on it, whether or not they did the work. I know the law enforcement has been on this. Any time that they get complaints, um, they work on it uh, to make sure that uh, such um, where there, there's evidence, um, they follow through and they track those uh, people who are involved in this. I mean, since I've been here, a number of people have been arrested uh, when allegations are made. And if it's proven, uh, they take them through their processes. I don't have the data in terms of those who have been prosecuted and, and probably jailed as a result of uh, complaints from parents or from the ministry. Uh, but I know that the law enforcement take this issue seriously. The NIB responded first. They brought a gentleman and his team, Francis, to start investigations on the system. But somewhere along the line, they pulled out of the investigation. And then exactly a month after my letter, they wrote to me, they sent me a note to indicate that uh, I should rather refer the issue to CID. About two weeks after I received that letter, that was faith me, the CID also came in with a team to start the investigation. They did their entry interview with me, and uh, that was where it ended. When the fourth estate concluded our investigations and wanted the police involved in arresting the perpetrators, the CID headquarters agreed to work with us. A team from the Financial Forensic Unit was assigned to work with us, but there was a sudden withdrawal of the team and we were directed to report the matter to the Ministry's police station. The fourth estate involved the police to pick up the suspect. Eric was arrested in Rachel's house. Without being asked any questions, Rachel volunteered to give out more details on their operations. She mentioned Isaac Mengsa, a security man in a basic school across her house who was involved in the deal. The police arrested Isaac who also mentioned Sebastian Apram as the one he was dealing with. Isaac led us to Sebastian. On Friday, October 28, 2022, another member of the syndicate, Gilbert Efriye Nkrumah, a staff of the Fisheries Commission, was arrested. Three other members have been arrested. Bernard Kusi Ajman, an operations manager with the logistics company, Eugenia Abigail Ahiable, an administrator, and Daniel Opoku, a foreman. Daniel Opoku also named twin brothers Atakufo Senior, a lab technician, and Atakufo Junior, an IT expert, as the ones who finally effected the placement to Infantman. The twins were already on the run for a similar offense. If we are resorting to use um, the aggregates instead of the raw scores, then to me, it makes no sense to have a computerized system. It should be given back to the heads of SHS. I believe that one of the ways that we can ensure that the school placement system has confidence and earns the trust 
of parents. So much so that parents are not even minded to go and try and pay their way through and get placements that they don't deserve. Is by shining lights on the operations computerized school placement selection. I will say that as Minister for Education, I support the efforts that you are making, bringing publicity to this canker. We want to fight it, we want to eliminate it, and um, the public, uh, we need your support. No, no, boom easy. In all, the police have arrested eight people in connection with a school placement fraud uncovered by the fourth estates. None of them is from the Education Ministry, GES, or the Free SHS Secretariat, as mentioned in Professor Bukwa Mankwa's letters to the CID and NIB. It is also evident that Rachel could not have placed a student into Infantiman Girls without the approval of the Minister of Education or the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, the only two individuals with passwords to Category A schools. If only two people have access to Category A schools, you're able to tell who did a placement for a certain student. So if these allegations come up uh, saying that, oh, a, a parent had paid money and this student had found himself at this school, uh, you go to the system and IT people are able to tell which of the two people did the placement. So it becomes much easier than a situation where if you have 100 people uh, with IDs and it takes you so long to determine uh, who did the placement for this person. So that is why access to category A is, is very restricted. 2021, initially I had access, but later my access was taken for a period to ensure that some updates were done. And uh, when it was restored, some of these opportunities were taken out. For 2022, I only had access to the back end and the opportunity to do changes and to see whatever is going on in the system for just about the first week of the placement. Subsequently, my access was blocked. Any request for approval, for example, from schools for category A, you know who approved that protocol request when it came from um, the schools that are in the category A um, band. And you know, those are the areas where um, people are scamming uh, parents uh, because that, those are the most desirable schools in the country. If there's fraud in the matter, then myself as Director General and the Minister should take the responsibility. I fully accept that and I fully agree. But that is also the reason why I knew that I'm part of it. I took measures to ensure that the issues relating to corruption and the place on the, on the, the payment of monies and things like that have been dealt with. And I wrote to the CID and then the PNI. If you're a staff here, you get yourself involved in this, you know you are not going to be working here any longer. How the names of students got to the Education Minister or the GS Director General for placement into Category A schools is easy to find according to the Minister's explanation. It is, however, not clear if the police will follow this case to the top since there is evidence that the top hierarchy of the security agencies failed to investigate the matter when the GS Director General requested investigation. Ajwa Adubia Ousu and Evans Aziamo Mensah's reports for the Fourth Estates.